Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose in the Moose is Loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. Thank you so much for joining us. This is going to be a very special episode. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than our 10 to 20 minute episode. Um, I assume it will probably be, you know, 30, 40 minutes, if that. So what we're going to do on this episode after you like, comment and subscribe is we're going to go over my top 10 picks. That's really what this is. So it's going to be our crypto checklist. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want all of you to have the potential to get in on quality projects. Now, one thing to mention is that this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to get out and buy these tokens. I'm not telling you to, you know, take out your life savings and buy any of these. This is just what I'm investing into. And yeah, that, that's the goal of the channel. I wanna be as transparent as possible. And at the end of the day, because you guys have been watching me for so long, this is one of my gifts for you. I want to give you guys 10 projects that I believe in, and these are my top 10 investments. So I'm not going to talk about how much you should put into a project. I just wanna get into why I like these projects, what they are, and we're gonna keep it short and sweet, okay? So comment down below if you agree, comment down below your top 10. I would like to know, even if it's a top five, that'd be great. And then, you know, if you guys have information on any projects, I'm down to learn. And by the way, this is over five years of reiterating. And I wanted to mention that I have these written down on paper. I'll show it at the end. I don't wanna have a spoiler right away, but these are 10 projects that over time, what you can do as well is write down your top 10 in your head and re rework it. So for example, say you write Ethereum, then you write uh, Casper token, or you get into Solana or Doge, and then over time you start eliminating ones, um, and that's going to reveal your true winner. So sometimes to reveal what it is you want, you have to eliminate, take out what you don't want. So. It's hard for you to understand what you do like, what are the right moves when you haven't experienced the wrong moves. So it's a good way to think about life and uh, picks in this regard. So let's get into it. Number one, you all know what it is, but it should be taken seriously as digital gold. That's Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin, the first true cryptocurrency that prevailed, that worked, that's still here today. Finite supply, we've got 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be minted. We're already at 20 mil, roughly, um, yeah, 19.4 mil, almost 20. There's only 1 million Bitcoin left, and Satoshi already has his own. To make a long story short, Bitcoin is the biggest, largest decentralized digital cryptocurrency in the world. It's trusted by millions around the world. And what else can I say about Bitcoin? I mean, it still works off of a proof of proof of work, a POW. It's not proof of stake. We'll get into some others, but Bitcoin should be in your portfolio. In my opinion, it's in my portfolio. Um, I'm trying to get it up to 15, 20%. I do believe in it. Um, it's not my favorite by any regard, but if Bitcoin crumbles tomorrow, um, let me tell you, the rest will take a hit. The rest will take a hit. And there are some better projects that are out there in my opinion, because they do more, they offer more. And that will be some of the other picks. Bitcoin should be there. You guys should check out the white paper. Not even that I understand it. I'm not a coder. Um, but if we take a look here, um, and again, every four years, the amount of rewards that get distributed to the miners gets cut in half every four years, known as the Bitcoin halving. So let's say, for example, every time you mine and you receive some block rewards, let's say it's half a Bitcoin, then it's going to be, you know, 0 0.25, 0, 0.0, blah, blah, blah. It gets exponentially more difficult to acquire. So there's a level of scarcity in a limited supply. And, you know, it is a very interesting um, crypto. And with the ability to add a second layer, third layer, you've got lightning coming out. There's a lot of reasons for Bitcoin. And in the future, by the way, maybe I'll be able to link it in the future but I'm going to be doing a free Bitcoin course that will take you from beginner to pro um, in under an hour. So number one is Bitcoin. If you guys can take out a pen and paper, 
and maybe write down this list. Again, not telling you to buy these, but I'm telling you guys um, that you should be researching these projects, okay? Number two, this is my number one holding, Cardano, ADA. Uh, what can I say about ADA? ADA is similar to Bitcoin that it is, it is a successful cryptocurrency um, blockchain. The thing about Cardano is that you could think about it as um, an advanced Ethereum in that transaction costs are cheaper. Uh, what else can I say about Cardano? I just love it. Um, the staking was there before Ethereum. You can stake without your wallet, your assets leaving your wallet. Um, we have a free Cardano course, so I might as well plug that in right now. If you guys do want to learn about Cardano, we will have links in the description below. We'll probably have a tag in the top right. If you click on the link, all you have to do is put in your email and you get a free Cardano mini course. You can watch it as you go. Um, we've got a promo here on the channel. So go to the channel right here. It's the free Cardano mini course. This is my gift for all you subscribers. I love you guys so much. That's why I created this. Um, we're gonna have a Bitcoin one, Ethereum one. I'm working on all top 10 chains um, or at least all top 10 projects. Some are, you know, there'll probably be courses on specific dApps or specific projects where they don't even have their own chain, maybe they're side chains. But anyways, long story short, Cardano, they have improved on the scalability. Um, they've got the smart contracts. They've got a pretty finite supply. I think there's 36 billion um, total and there's already like 30 billion Cardano. Um, you guys can comment down below if I'm wrong, but there's so much being built right now on Cardano and I just love it. I love the ability to stake, to delegate. Um, and, and we'll get into that as well. I, I guess I'll talk about it because there's a lot of Cardano tokens, um, a lot of altcoins and alternative um, Cardano based tokens that I wanna talk about in this video as well. So comment down below if you guys do like Cardano. I'm a huge fan. It's 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 right up there with Bitcoin in terms of my favorite coin right now. Now the next one is a little bit of a lower cap altcoin. It is something that I think could 100x from today. Today we're Sunday, July 23rd. I see this coin going from a couple cents to a dollar in the near future. And I talk about it all the time. You guys already know what it is, especially if you're not a newcomer. It's Cornucopias. Cornucopias is a metaverse AAA level game. It's an MMO RPG game. And it was a penny. I was telling people when it was a penny. This is one of the greatest opportunities in crypto, hands down. Um, the reason it's number three on the list and the reason it is it's a number three um, in my portfolios because they've got the NFTs, they've got the look, and ultimately, when you take when you take crypto out of the equation, gaming is massive. Me personally, I don't play games. Um, I used to play hockey growing up a little bit, like uh, like I played hockey in real life, but I would play the video game NHL. And the thing about this game is that when I think about a metaverse game that looks cool that's going to work and that you want to own the land. Um, we have tons of videos here on Kopi. Um, I cannot talk about this project enough. I'm not telling you to buy these, but look at the bubble jets. Look at these vehicles. These look real. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game. This, this little screen does not do the game um, any justice. Uh, maybe we'll even put up a video. L let's do that. Um, Right now, you can pick up Kopi tokens. I got videos here on the channel. So type in Kopi and maybe I'll even play a video. There's a video I want to play for you guys. Let's see if I can find that video. Maybe it's under videos here. Valley works. Here you go. We might as well just play. Hopefully we don't get any copyright strike, but this game looks so realistic and we're only seeing it in HD right now. But guys, like this is a game where you can own non-fungible tokens, the NFTs. You can connect and use them in the game. You, you're gonna be able to buy and sell your land. You can already buy the land, but you'll be able to sell it in the future. The racing game is coming out first. 
So if you are looking to pick something up to test it, not financial advice, not telling you what to buy, I've been picking up some bubble jets. So in fact, what I can do as well is I'll pull up one of my wallets. I'm very transparent with you guys. Um, I'm doing some flipping and stuff, but I've got 13, 13 of these assets. One is a rare, and I think these are gonna do very well. So not just the Kopi token, but the Cornucopia's uh, non-fungible tokens are are very nice in my opinion. It's 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 got some depth to it. Um, yeah, I, I'm just very bullish. I think this could do extremely well. The main reason being that I believe in it is because the gaming world is so massive and this looks so much better than everything else. I'm sure you guys have seen Manba, uh, Mana, uh, which is um, Decentraland. And then you also have Sandbox. They look like crap. They look terrible in comparison to um, Cornucopias. So that's just what I think. I think the land looks good. Uh, what else do we have here? I, I just want to send it home here for you guys. The vehicles look so good, guys. Um, they have videos. I recommend checking out their channel. And there's just so much going on with this project. I like the style. I like the look. It's everything and anything I've ever wanted to see in a project. And it's severely undervalued, in my opinion. So the next one, number four. Let's get into it. Number four is Meld. Meld is incredible, okay? So we're gonna type in Meld here. Meld is DeFi lending and borrowing. Um, I don't know what else I can say about Meld other than the opportunity is there. Some of you may look at this chart Sunday, July 23rd. You're probably watching this on July 25th or 6th. This is one of the greatest opportunities in investing history in crypto, my opinion. Um, let's get into it. Let's get into Meld. So we're going to have tons of videos here talking about Meld, but what they are is an all-in-one banking app where you can borrow against your assets. They are also multi-chain. So this is for Ethereum, Bitcoin, Matic. You're going to have um, gold-backed stable coins, I believe, in the future. Do not quote me. Um, but you have Cardano and you have their Meld token, which you can use for transaction costs on their chain. And this is beautiful. You're going to have access to over 100 different um, currencies around the world. So this is massive. Now, I'm going, to go, I'm going to open up this app for you guys. We have videos showing you on the channel. If you type in Meld on the channel, you can check out um, how to set up your wallet. They're going to have an app. They're going to have the NeoBank and they're going to have the desktop version as well. So here I'm going to sign in. I'm just trying to um, focus on my security as much as possible here uh, because in the future I will have a lot of subscribers. So I've got a wallet connected here. As you can see, what I was just talking about is you'll be able to connect your wallet, which I'm using a hardware wallet. So we have links in the description below. Um, we talk about that here on the channel and in our courses as well. But um, here, what you're going to be able to do is stake very simply. This is coming soon. It hasn't officially launched, but you're going to have an all-in-one app. And what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to sell your crypto or borrow against it and use the fiat upon transaction. So you'll be able to for example, borrow against your crypto, let's say it goes up in value, instead of you having to sell your, your crypto, let's say you have Bitcoin, you have one Bitcoin, goes up to a million bucks, which would be incredible, right? Just saying, you have one Bitcoin, it's worth a million bucks now. You don't wanna sell it, you don't wanna have that tax event. So you can borrow against it, get cash in the app, use that cash with their debit card. That is massive. That is the opportunity. And for all of you that are subscribed, that's why I've been preaching about Meld. This is all making more sense to me. Check out their white paper. Check out the videos. It's not for me. It's for you guys. I'm making these videos because I see something here. Um, I mean, to take it home, I, I have 100,000 tokens. Yeah, I've got 100,000 Meld in my wallet. Um, if you guys want to really know what I'm investing into, follow this address. It's $tie.ada or 
dollar sign red cape and those are nft nfts that i own that's a whole other thing but that's meld in a nutshell and even if we go on the website i should be able to pull that up pretty swiftly for you guys um, let's go to meld.io guys check out the white paper learn more now's a good time to get in so meld is a non-custodial DeFi protocol for web three finance providing cross-chain lending borrowing staking meld supporting the six leading blockchains as we just talked about so um it's providing a lot of value and the other thing is i'm going to be doing a dedicated video but you're not investing into tokens you're not buying meld you're investing into the team i believe in the team i believe in the people that talk about it on the inside where they're they're putting their life savings into this project. That's how much they believe in it. I believe in this project a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so the next one, let's get into Dega. Now, how do I get into this properly? Well, Dega, what they're doing, and as you can see, we're not, we're not gonna be able to pull up their token because the project token hasn't come out yet. Now, I recommend to check out my other videos on Dega. So type in D-E-G-A. What they are doing is they are helping out gaming projects with the user friendliness. So for example, Cornucopias, in order to pick up the token and play the game, you're gonna have to learn how to set up a wallet. You're gonna have to understand because of that nature, how to set up and utilize your private keys understand public keys. What Dig is doing is they're working on the infrastructure to make it more user-friendly. So for example, you go to Cornucopias, you sign in your name, you maybe put in a password, and now you have access to a wallet. You have access to your tokens and they're making this much easier. So on Dig's website, you can see Dega provides scalable infrastructure and fast transactions for Web3 gaming. So they're fixing the issue that right now it's difficult for games to onboard new users from the current gaming space because crypto is somewhat complex. Not everybody's gonna wanna have a hardware wallet. Not everyone is gonna wanna learn about blockchain. If you wanna own NFTs and own a part of the game, what you're gonna be able to do in the future because of Dega is they're going to simplify that onboarding process effectively. So the thing about Dega and why I wanna talk about it right now is because they have an ISPO. It's an initial stake pool offering. All you have to do is sign a transaction and you guys can go here on the channel. So if you go to Crypto Moose, type in Dega, D-E-G-A. And what I recommend is to check out this video. Not telling you to do it, but if you guys want to, you can take Cardano that you own, delegate, stake to Dega1, D-E-G-A-1. And what you're gonna be able to do is you will be able to claim Dega tokens. It will either be in a claimable fashion or it will be an airdrop. Um, so there's so much to this, but to make a long story short, um, I am delegating, so right here to Dega. And if you can see here, I've already earned 5,800 Dega. So I've got 7,000 Dega between two of my wallets that I've, I haven't had to pay for. I am just saying, yes, I would like to sign a transaction. Instead of earning a little bit of the new supply of Cardano, I'm going to earn Dega. So it's a great way for them to um, support the project and for us to earn their supply. And they're also giving 25% of their supply to the ISPO participants. So with that being said, check out those videos. Dega is very cool and it's my top five. Um, I don't own any yet, but that's because of the project technically, um, you cannot pick them up on DEXs as of yet anyways. So the next one, Iagon, 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 beautiful project. Let's get into IAG. So the reason I like Iagon is because for one, it's done very well in the short term. I bought over here. And the reason being is because of decentralized cloud storage. So you can think of Google Drive, right? Where you set up a Google account, 
Now, Google is a company, they have all the data storage. They have all your information in the sense that they, they have all the hard drives and you're accessing the data through um, Google or Amazon. They own the data and you're borrowing it. Well, with Iagon, it is decentralized now. So you're using a decentralized cloud storage system where you can take your wallet, connect it to the website, and that's what I wanna get into here with you. Um, the project's very cheap. Um, the the Winklevoss twins, they were into Filecoin, which is on Ethereum's blockchain. And here, if we sign in, so I'm gonna have to switch out my wallet here. I'm gonna go to um, just the NAMI wallet. And right now it's not working with a Trezor or a Ledger, but if you just set up a wallet like I have here, you should be able to do it. So we're gonna connect our wallet and I'm gonna hide my password, of course. So I'm gonna put in my password. And as you can see here, I've connected my Cardano base wallet and I've uploaded different images. So what you can do really when you think about it, and this opens up a lot of opportunities. Comment down below if you agree or not, but let's say you have a very important document, maybe a love letter for somebody and you die. Well, if you give them access to your crypto wallet, it is timestamped because it's a decentralized public ledger and you can send it to anyone peer to peer and you could basically leave somebody notes. You could leave your will, you could leave important documents, maybe images. Um, that's something I was thinking about too. Why leave it in the hands of Amazon or other companies when you could just do it with um, with your wallet? It gives power back to the individual in that regard. And I like this. I think there's a lot of opportunity here with Iagon. Comment down below. I did sell a lot of my position, but that's because I was in for less than a penny. It went up to eight cents and I've done really well on Iagon, I must say. So that's number six. Let's move forward here. Let's move forward. I have tons of videos covering all this. By the way, again, if you guys wanna check out, we have a free Cardano course. We show you how to set up wallets, stake, um, sending, receiving, yield farming, all that and more. It's a great opportunity for you guys, okay? And we also have links for our Trezor if you guys wanna go that route. And if you wanna learn more about Cardano, go to Cardano Cube. So here you can see some of the popular DEXs and projects that are out and you can see upcoming information as well. So Matic, 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 Matic. Matic is also known as Polygon, and this is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. The problem with Ethereum, you all know it, Ethereum is slow. The transaction speeds are not quite there, and they are very expensive. So they're going to help with that, and that's what I wanna get into right now. So check out Matic, it's looking better as we go. Announcing Polygon 2.0, um, you can stake it as well. Um, it's also, it, it's adding so much value. You can imagine that these different blockchains and for example, Matic, they are bridging the gap for communication between blockchains. So it's helping out with the interoperability. And this is going to help, help out a lot. Um, even when you think about Meld, they are also with um, partnering with, with Polygon and Ethereum. So these projects that I'm talking about, the majority of them, even the next one I'm gonna talk about, they are going to be multi-chain. Um, they are, but they're going to get even better. This is software that can improve over time. And I think this is a big deal, guys. This is a big deal. So this is my first time looking at Polygon 2.0, but you can check out the roadmap. Um, Guys, uh, Polygon POS, proof of stake, it looks like. Tokenomics, and guys, there's just so much happening. So um, a vision for Polygon's future that brings Ethereum to internet scale, just as anyone can create and exchange data. Polygon 2.0 proposes a protocol that enables anyone, anywhere, to create, program, and exchange value. So read the one paper. Um, there's, of course, the white paper, light paper, now it's the one paper. So this is a bit of what they're doing. Polygon 2.0 is a network of ZK powered layer two chains. So Ethereum, you could take it as a layer one blockchain. 
a layer two chain, they're they're basically connecting themselves and they're a lot, that's what's allowing for tr faster transaction speeds, more throughput. So when you're buying and selling NFTs with Ethereum, you can now utilize Matic to improve the scalability. That's what they're talking about. So what is a value layer? Exchanging value over the internet, just like how we send data and information over the internet. Being able to send and receive value without going through the intermediaries and third parties. That is that is really cool. So unlimited scalability. Um, again, this is my first time checking out this particular aspect, but Matic, you guys have to have it on your radar. Hopefully the smart people, you are taking notes, you're writing down the top 10 and you're really taking a deeper dive into some of this, okay? So the next one is book. I wanna keep this one somewhat short and sweet. So this one, the token um, isn't out yet, but right now there's a public sale. So book, they are also cross-chain, multi-chain. And if you go here under token sale, under app.book.io, I did a video on it um, and the price keeps going up. So there's only eight minutes left to get more. Um, if I switch out my wallet and there's only so much I can cover in this particular video, I will be doing independent videos on this as well. But book, what it is, is you can own NFTs, non-fungible tokens of book covers. And when you connect them to the website, you can read the books. And when you're done with it, you can sell them, right? So you think about something like this, it gets damaged, destroyed. How do you know the verification of the book? Well, because of the blockchain, that solves all that and more. So here you can see that I picked some up. So I'm not just talking about it. Um, I picked up 37,341. I believe it's claimable October something. So October 20th. Um, so yeah, it's getting more and more expensive. So in order to pick some up, you're gonna need more and more as the price goes up. And yeah, th these books look really cool. Um, you can imagine that you own these books in the form of real books and audiobooks. And there's a lot of potential here. So I'm not gonna talk about book too much. I wanna speed things up. The next one is Dot, so Polkadot. And the reason I like Dot, and we'll get into it, number one, all these projects, I think they're at a low point in the price. Dot has gone up to $40 a few times, almost 40 bucks. Yeah, it has gone to 40 bucks. Um, heck, it's gone up to $51 at one point. Right now, we are at $5. This is one of the best opportunities in the sense of a sure bet. Again, not telling you to buy these. This is something I'm taking a look at myself. So you think about Polygon and we'll get into what it is. Um, I do like reading these because they do help me just explain what it is. Um, Polygon is known as a layer zero meta protocol because of its underlies and describes format for layer one. So really what they are is um, parachains, Gavin Wood, He's the big smart guy um, for the Polygon. Um, what I like about it is that you can also stake and earn 10, 12, up to 20% APY with um, Matic, or sorry, with DOT, so Polkadot. And what's cool about it is that, again, there's a language barrier. The, you could imagine somebody that speaks Chinese, somebody that speaks French, somebody that speaks English, somebody else that speaks Russian, how are they going to communicate, right? So you can imagine that in this case, in the blockchain world, you've got Ethereum with their own code. You've got um, Cardano, right? And then you have Bitcoin. How do these different blockchains communicate and speak with one another? That's where DOT comes in. And with their parachains, you are able to have this layer zero where they can now um, fix the interoperability issues with these blockchains. So, that being said, you have to have DOT on your radar. I hope that explains it decently well. Um, 10, Crow, crypto.com. And I think this is one of the better opportunities. It gets better and better as the price keeps sinking. So Crow, I have the app and it's gone up to what? 50 cents, let's say 50 cents, almost a dollar. Um, I'm not gonna count the peak. I'm gonna count it more as here. Let's say 50 cents. 
we're at five cents right now. And when you think about it practically, a lot of people, when they get into cryptos, they're not going to set up a treasure. They're not going to, um, they're not going to own their private key. So really you have two ways of owning your crypto, right? I like to say, not your keys, not your, not your cheese, right? So in the form of a hardware wallet or a paper wallet or a non-custodial wallet, that means that you have self custody of your wallet. So even with meld, you own your private keys. Now that comes with a lot more responsibility, right? So you get more authority, but it comes with a lot more responsibility. You could lose your private keys, you'll lose everything. What I'm getting at is with custodial options, like it's a online exchange like Coinbase, maybe you have Binance, those are great because a lot of people need to use a bank. I know a lot of people that are not comfortable with cryptocurrencies and I would not tell them to pick up a treasure. I always tell people that. With crypto.com, it's very easy for you to set up an account. So we'll even go to the website right now, might as well. I have the app on my phone. It's the way, primary way I pick up crypto as well. So if we go to crypto.com, you download the app and you can begin to buy, sell, trade, send yourself an e-transfer, you can get into the space. Now the downside, of course, is that it's not a non-custodial wallet, it's a custodial wallet. They have, um, they have the tokens that you're, that you're using on the exchange. It's, it's basically a, a centralized exchange. They have your tokens on cold storage, from what I know, but you're using the app. So it's more convenient, but a lot of people are gonna have to use this because they, they just don't know how, how else to do it. The other thing is that you've got the branding. It's, it's crypto.com, what a name. You've got the crypto.com arena um, where I think the Lakers are playing as well. Um, you have the debit card. This is huge. If the, if the bull run happens within a year or so, this is going to be massive. And I just want you guys to think about it. Do you guys think Crow is going to do well this year? I do. Um, at least by 2025, we could see a huge run up in the price. Okay. So that being said, guys, that's all I really got. Um, if you want to learn more, take an online course. I got free ones. Subscribe to the channel. I would love it if you guys did that. Um, please ask questions. Make a list. What are your top 10? I made a list. And every month, every week, I change it. Um, there's four new tokens that I've replaced out of my top 10. That's how much I adapt. It's either you adapt or you die in the space. That being said, guys, the moose is loose. Thank you so much. Love you all. Comment down below what else you'd like to see me cover in the future. Gotta go. Margot Robbie's waiting for me at home.